Yo, what's going on guys? Come over here and uh, welcome back to the video. So today I'm just going to be quickly going over how to boost your frames in Project Slayers. Now, this is going to help everybody even if you have a ton of frames already. So I'm just getting right into the video. And I'm also going to be just checking in on my FPS up here and see I'm capped at 60 FPS right now. It's trying to go over, but it can't. So I'm going to show you how to get over 60 FPS right now. So what you're going to want to do is I'm going to share my screen. You go to here, you go to type in RBX FPS locker on Google, just so you know that I'm not like making you click something weird because the, the link does get kind of short and it looks kind of weird. So just click this one, releases Austin RBX GitHub. Okay. And you're going to want to scroll down to here and you're going to want to click this one right here. And it's going to make you download an application. And then you basically, when it downloads, you just type in RBX, you click this. Now you're going to want to just run the application. Now this is completely safe. Roblox doesn't ban it. Project Slayers won't ban it. Just trust me. And I'm actually going to use it right now. So now you can see that I am running around 190 frames right now. And yeah. So now the next thing we're going to do is basic, basic stuff. You can turn down your graphic quality all the way down to one to boost, to boost it like to the most it possibly can. That's going to boost me to uh, like a 200 now. As you can see on the top left, it's going up to 200. And the last thing that you can do, even if you're on low end computer, this is going to help. You're going to want to go to your settings. You want to... You're going to get onto the screen. You're going to scroll all the way down. You're going to click materials and shadows. And you can click show markers, but I don't really care about that. Now, this just will boost me another... I mean, it does make the game look a little bit more gra uh, grainy and blocky. But this boosts your frames another, like, 20. So, that is pretty much all the ways you can boost your frames in Project Slayers. Now, obviously, when you move, use move, it's going to be way less, um, you know, there's going to be way less frames. But... Yeah, that's all the ways you can boost your frames in Project Slayers. Now, running a consistent 200 FPS on this game is crazy because this game is hard. It's it's a very hard operating game. And uh, yeah, that's honestly... And I'm streaming. Like, I'm recording my, my gameplay. So that's another thing of why my FPS is down right now. But other than that, that's all I have. And I hope this helped. If you enjoyed, make sure to subscribe, like, I don't know, do whatever you want. And I'll see you guys later in the next video. I'll see you guys later. Peace.